Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will be bringing you remedies on how to overcome negative thoughts. If you have been having negative thoughts, and you have tried your best, and still yet you discovered that it's still having its grip on you, and you don't know what else to do, then don't worry, your help has come. The Holy Spirit is sending this message to you specifically to free you from that bondage. So watch to the end, and subscribe as well. And if you have anyone passing through it, then you can share the message with them, and don't miss the prayer section at the end of the video. It is a powerful prayer for your deliverance, healing and blessings. Negative thoughts are product of the mind, that have been stained, either by what you saw, or propelled against you, from the kingdom of darkness. This thought is majorly brought about by the spirit called lust. The essence of the devil propelling negative thought to a person is because he wants to pollute the heart of man. When you begin to have negative thoughts, your heart becomes polluted and it drives the spirit of God out of your life since he cannot stay in a polluted area. This opens you up to the influence and attacks of the devil who is trying to capture you and make you his slave, one of the most ravaging issue distorting. The people especially, the youths, is this issue of bad thoughts. It could come in a form of sexual feeling towards an opposite sex, that if not handled immediately, may either lead to fornication or masturbation. Some even go as far as having an affair with sex doll, which is an abominable thing before God. Others have this negative thought against their fellow human, who probably have done something displeasing to them. And they can sit for a long time thinking on how to revenge or pay back the evil that such a person had done to him or her. It is this kind of thought that makes a man to commit murder. Because when such a thought becomes so strong in your heart, it will overcome your goodwill and cause you to do what naturally you would not do. So you see people killing or rapping or even stealing what does not belong to them. It is all a product of what they had nursed within themselves. One thing you must know is that it does not just happen. It is a thought that had been built up for a while. And when the manifestation of it comes, then you realize that you could not longer have power. Over that negative will again, Rome they say, is not built in a day. So some of the things we see today manifesting in the lives of some people are not just coincidence, they have nursed it for so long a time. And it is all traceable to negative thought. The Bible told us a story of a young man that had this issue of lust and negative thought in the Bible. It made the young man to do what was never done in Israel. Let's consider that a little from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 13 verse 1 to 14. Verse 1. Some time later, this happened. Absalom, David's son, had a sister who was very attractive. Her name was Tamar. Amnon, also David's son, was in love with her. Amnon was obsessed with his sister Tamar to the point of making himself sick over her. She was a virgin, so he couldn't see how he could get his hands on her. Amnon had a good friend, Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shimea. Jonadab was exceptionally streetwise, he said to Amnon. Why are you moping around like this, day after day you, the son of the king? Tell me what's eating at you, in a word, Tamar, said Amnon, my brother Absalom's sister. I'm in love with her. Five. Here's what you do, said Jonadab, go to bed and pretend you're sick. When your father comes to visit you, say, have my sister Tamar come and prepare some supper for me here, where I can watch her and she can feed me. 6. So Amnon took to his bed and acted sick. When the king came to visit, Amnon said, Would you do me a favor, have my sister Tamar come and make some nourishing dumplings here, where I can watch her and be fed by her. David sent word to Tamar, who was home at the time, Go to the house of your brother Amnon and prepare a meal for him. So Tamar went to her brother Amnon's house. She took dough kneaded it, formed it into dumplings, and cooked them while he watched from his bed. But when she took the cooking pot and served him, he wouldn't eat. Amnon said, 
clear everyone out of the house. And they all cleared out. Then he said to Tama, bring the food into my bedroom, where we can eat in privacy. She took the nourishing dumplings she had prepared and brought them to her brother Amnon in his bedroom. But when she got ready to feed him, he grabbed her and said, come to bed with me, sister. No, brother, she said, don't hurt me. This kind of thing isn't done in Israel. Don't do this terrible thing. Where could I ever show my face? And you, you'll be out on the street in disgrace. Oh, please. Speak to the king, he'll let you marry me. 14. But he wouldn't listen. Being much stronger than she, he raped her. You can see that. Because Amnon nursed this in his heart for a long period, he ended up raping his half-sister. And Absalom, who was the brother to Tamar, was angry and also nursed the issue in his heart for two years. And after that, he killed Amnon. If you read that chapter of 2 Samuel, to the end you will see that, any time. Negative thought comes. It comes along with evil. Some it is not what we should have or at all. Its repercussions is beyond what we can bear. That is why, the Holy Spirit has chosen. That we should discuss it here today. So that, those under it will be delivered. Because, Jesus is ready to help you out, before. I give you the remedy. Let me give you one more effect of bad or negative thought. A man can develop negative thoughts towards a fellow who becomes successful. This evil spirit of the devil will make you to begin to feel bad towards the person. Without course, instead of you to go and think on how to improve yourself for the better, the devil will make you to waste your time having negative thoughts towards the person. Another story about this can be found in the book of Genesis. God asked Cain and Abel to offer to him sacrifice. The both of them did. God accepted the offer of Abel and rejected the one of Cain. This made Cain to become angry at Abel. Can you imagine that? Abel is not God, and it was not Abel that made Cain's offering to be rejected. But still, Cain became angry at Abel. A negative thought came in. Cain continued in this thought until God warned him that sin lies at his door and then he still have the power to prevail over it. But Cain kept nursing it until the sin grew to the stage that he could no longer control. Since he did not listen to the warning of God, the thought prevailed over him and he killed his brother Abel. Do you see how bad this negative thought is? It can cause you to do what you ought not to do. This is why you must reject and fight against negative thoughts with all the power that you possessed. Because from the start, you have more power over it. But if you let it to have it ways, it will rule over your will and push you to do the negative. I am aware that many people are in the hand of this spirit already. And that is why the spirit of God is sending you this message now. Because he wants to set you free from the bondage of it and live a free life. Five steps to gain freedom from negative thoughts. 1. Genuine love. I know you will be surprised at this. Listen. There is nothing that kills negative thoughts like genuine love. When you love something or someone genuinely, you will never want anything to happen to them. You will always have good thoughts towards them. And you will keep wishing them well. So the first thing to do is to develop genuine love towards those people. The Bible says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casted out fear. So perfect love will drive out all manner of evil that you will have towards them. Again, the Bible says in Proverbs 10, verse 12, hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. So all sins can be covered by genuine love. And how do you begin to build such a love? When you already have negative thoughts towards some persons already, this will take us to the second step. Step two, prayer. When you find out that you cannot help yourself again, then switch to prayers. Prayer is not just the act of communicating with God, but prayer is also the act of exchanging our weaknesses with God's strength and ability. That is one of the reasons why we pray. We exchange our weakness, our incapabilities when we pray. We lay down all our weakness before his throne 
and he gives us the power to live above them all. So when you realize that you cannot help yourself again, and the evil thoughts keeps coming, cry to God for a help. There is one prayer that God does not reject. That is the cry for help. He always answers them. 3. Studying the Word of God always. When you fill your heart with the Word of God, there will be no space for the devil to come in. Psalms 119 verse 9 to 12 verse 9 Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to Rato, according to thy word. 10. With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. 11. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. 12. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. If the word of God is rich in you, negative thoughts won't come. And if they come, you will overcome them easily, because the word is a light and a lamp for your part. It gives you illumination and grants you perfect direction on what to do and how to do it. 4. Fellowship with the brethren. When you always have fellowship together with the saints, there is a release of grace that helps you to overcome evil. Hebrews 10 verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. You can also relate the issue with the brethren, which you fellowship together with, and they can help you in prayer and counselling, and with that, your deliverance is sure. 5. The last thing you will need to do, is not giving space to the devil. They said that an idle mind is Satan's workshop, but I put it this way, an idle man is a temptation to the devil. That means, he's tempting the devil to come and make him busy. If you notice it carefully, you will realize that those thoughts comes. When you are less busy, when you are not doing anything, then the devil brings such negative thoughts on your way. So always make sure that you are doing one good thing or the other. Engage yourself in good works, especially those of you who are already under the influence of negative thought. Always stay busy, do something good at all times, and before you know it, you have been delivered. In conclusion, always remember that the blood of Jesus is very powerful and there is nothing the blood cannot do. Always use the blood of Jesus in any circumstance, for in Revelation 12 verse 11, the Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. So all your problems and challenges can be overcome through the use of the blood. Remember that you are entitled to using the blood, so start it from today, now by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I come against any power of negative thought in your lives. Leave their bodies now in Jesus' name. I decree your freedom from any power. Ruling over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Satan let them go now. In Jesus' name. Anyone that is sick, as you listen to this prayer now, I declare. You are healed now. Receive your healing from all kinds of sicknesses in Jesus' mighty name. For Jesus has paid for it already. So you are healed and totally delivered from the power of darkness. Walk in liberty now in Jesus' name I pray. Amen just in case your life is not right with Jesus. I would like you to do this prayer with me now. Repeat this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. I admit I am a sinner. Please forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe you died for me on the cross, and I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life and clean it from the book of death. I reject the devil and his works and I declare I am saved by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I trust you are blessed. You can also leave a comment below at the comments box, and you can like, share and subscribe for more. God bless you.